My name is uh, Jared Peterson, and I'm running for uh, Utah House District 9, which uh, encompasses downtown Ogden, North Roy, and all of West Haven. I just completed my first term at the legislature. Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, I graduated from Weber State University, uh, not last week, but uh, <laughs> about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, I'm married, I have a wife and four children that I brought with me. They're the youngest looking in the crowd here today. Um, we, uh, uh, we've been in downtown Ogden for about eight years. We used to live in Roy for four years uh, prior to that. Uh, I'm a realtor by trade. I run a property management business. It sounds kind of familiar. Um, we, uh, so I'm on the front lines of the market. I'm in the private sector, uh, but the scary kind where you're self-employed and you're at the mercy of, of the markets. So I know what it means to adapt to survive. Um, and you know, as a state government, we need to be able to do that and have that kind of flexibility uh, to, to make ends meet at the state level. We, uh, uh, to tell you a little bit about what I've done the last couple of years, uh, one of my major accomplishments is I was able to mop up holes that existed in our criminal database system. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that 90% of the fingerprints of uh, felony convictions for juveniles were not kept on file. They were disposed of or, or uh, ignored. And so uh, we, uh, cleaned up that database and we actually had those in files so we could do good law enforcement and catch repeat offenders when we actually process crime scenes. Uh, I also worked with the governor's office to reduce taxes on businesses by $24 million this last year. Uh, we adjusted the formula for unemployment uh, insurance taxes. Uh, the third uh, thing we accomplished was I created the six-month vehicle registration option. So if you want to register your car for six months at a discount, you can do that uh, starting in July of next year. Uh, so, why should you re-elect me by your good graces and goodwill? Well, we're working, uh, I'm working with a group of folks uh, at the Capitol on a poverty task force who will be dealing with some of our most disadvantaged in our community and what the state is doing uh, unwittingly to, uh, to perpetuate poverty through multiple generations. We just had a study come out, you may have heard about it in the news, that talked about some of the most disadvantaged among us and, and their circumstances. And we'll be drilling down into what the state can do to help uh, specifically the children lift themselves up out of this situation and we can break that, that poverty cycle. Uh, living in downtown Ogden, uh, I can see a lot of uh, failed policy in many of the lives of my neighbors and, and constituents. And so we need to do what we can to make it better. So with that, I appreciate your support. Thank you.